Smoke is made of particles. This is a view of smoke particles seen through a microscope. The smoke particles are the bright specks. They're drifting upwards, but if you look carefully, you can see that they're also jiggling around. To see the smoke particles, this apparatus was used. Smoke from a burning straw is put into a small glass tube called a smoke cell. Light is focused onto the smoke cell by a glass rod. The light comes from a lamp filament. In 1827, Robert Brown was the first person to see the jiggling motion of small particles, though he used pollen grains suspended in water. No one at the time was sure what caused this movement, which is now called Brownian motion. Nowadays, it's thought that molecules are the cause. Molecules are so small that it's impossible to see them even with the most powerful microscope. This model shows the tiny air molecules bombarding a smoke particle. When it's hit by more air molecules on one side than another, it moves. Of course, this model shows the air molecules much larger than they really are when compared with the size of the smoke particle but it does explain how the molecule's random motion can result in the movement of the smoke particles. If you follow the movement of just one smoke particle, you'll find that it soon disappears. This is because it's drifting in and out of the depth of field of the microscope. In other words, it drifts up or down and soon goes out of focus.